What's up everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Ross McFarlane coming to you from Agency 3980 and in this video I'm going to be giving you a first look introductory video into the native advertising platform Adblade. So let's dive straight in. So as you can see here, I'm on the homepage of Adblade. Now, there's a few things that I'm looking for when I got onto a homepage of a native advertising platform is I wanna know how much traffic they've got, which type of bidding models do they run. Also, I wanna know if they offer me an account manager and I wanna know which verticals that they run. Now, before I go ahead and do that, you may even not know what a native, native ad is if this is your first time finding us. So, I'll quickly show you what a native ad actually is. So, head over to a website, MSN, obviously a huge website. And what a native ad is, is it's an ad, a picture ad, designed to blend in with a website, specifically a news website that's supposed to look like part of the website. Here we go here. Now what you'll find is, you'll find on these news websites it'll say a little ad recommended for you. So it's very subtle. And what these ad, what these pictures are is, the user may think that these are news articles, but what they actually are is ad advertisements. So if I were to click on this here, this may take me through to an advertorial or a, a VSL type lander. And this is actually an advertorial which is probably going to take me down to some type of oral health offer which is probably this thing here which i'm assuming if i just scroll down it'll take me through to where i can click on to an offer page and that's why native advertising can be so powerful is because there's tons of traffic because of websites like these with so much traffic and also it takes cold traffic into warm traffic with these pre-sale pages and it takes them into red hot buyers which is why it can be so profitable so now, let's see if Adblade is anything for something that would be suitable, suitable for us. So, we are going to be an advertiser, so let's learn a little bit more about the advertising. So, here we are here, we are here on the first uh, page. It's telling us here that it's got 100% premium branded content sites. Okay, that's cool, but it's not telling me what those sites are. So, that's probably a con there. I want to know which sites I would be running on, especially if I recognize any of the sites. Um, news bullets, let's see here. Okay, basic standard native ads, which it's shown me here. And also this looks a little bit different, the way that these ads are structured. So we'll probably find that out when we dive into creating the campaign. And placements that get noticed, that's just basically, yep. Targeting the audience, geo-targeting, all basic stuff, device targeting, desktop, tablet, tablet and mobile. Okay, they offer uh, all three different devices. Cool, uh, it's not really giving me much information, but we'll just keep moving forward. So reach customers where they spend their time. It's officially a mobile world with over two thirds of Americans owning a smartphone consumption on a media. Okay, so this is suggesting that they are going to be running a lot of mobile traffic if they're having this on their homepage. And it's shown me here how their ads will look on a mobile device and Cool, so this is the first thing that we've established. Finally, we've found something here. So we have found here the vertical, the, the type of verticals that they run. So what it's telling me here is, who should be advertising on Adblade? People who want to do lead gen, they want to do brand awareness, they want to do app promotions, or they want to do paid content. Lead gen probably wouldn't apply to us. Only thing that would apply to us if we were running in something like tier two countries, maybe running cash on delivery offers, um, probably not our thing brand awareness definitely not our thing that's for like big brands like coca-cola and all these different big brands um app promotion paid content probably more our thing so um yeah that's not really given much information on the home page so let's go and take a look into the back office the ad ad blade uh, dashboard and we will go ahead and log in so my account uh, you're logged in on my account and here we are here. So I just created an account just shortly earlier on and it's taken me to the ad funds, which I don't want to do. I just want to create a campaign because it's not giving me an option here to look for how much traffic they have in each geo, which is not great. And I don't have an option to find the bidding models as of yet. So I don't know which type of bidding model that I'll be running or what they offer. So I'm assuming that um, I'll just do this when I create the campaign. So let's move me out of the way. And let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we've got campaign name, which is obviously just gonna be example campaign, example, and then your short description is gonna be 
the thing that we seen earlier on, which would be here, which was on this page, I think it was, was it? Yeah, here, which was slightly different to what I'm used to, but let's just move on with it. So this could be, let's say, for example, we're doing a weight loss. So let's just say fat loss hack, as it's not really giving me a lot of descriptive characters on that headline there. And then here, I can just put a simple fat loss solution. Obviously, this is an absolute horrendous um, description and headline, but I'm just using it for example purposes. Um, obviously, I can't spell as well, which is not great. Um, but yeah, I hope you get the point. That's just where I'm just trying to show you the actual how that would actually look on the actual ads. So here, advertiser domain. So this would be... So this would be the vendor, so this would be vendor domain, vendor.com would be whichever vendor, vendor.com, so that would not be your domain. And display name, that would be, yes, yeah, so that would be, if we're running a weight loss offer, I could just call that, say, health trends. Health trends, cool, okay, by click, by checking this box, I certify ownership of these images, I accept all responsibility, and I have complete and full rights to use these images. Okay, so I'm just gonna check that. Um, large size optional it is recommended you provide both optional images in order to maximize the inventory ads can reach okay so what this is basically saying to me here is I'd have to load the image that I want to upload twice in two different formats so the first one would have to be 1200 by 900 and the next one would need to be 82 by 82 which is quite small but it's telling me I'd have to do that so I can reach all potential placements um, because each different placement has different size dimensions so that's what it's telling me here CPA go CPA go. Okay, I don't want to set a CPA go because I don't want to do. Hopefully, it's going to give me a different uh, bidding model later down the line, um, because I don't want to run CPA as that is absolutely super advanced. Um, so flight dates that's going to be start and end date. So that's just going to be let's just start the date. Uh, cool and just end it tomorrow. Cool. Let's do that. Target impressions or serve as as soon as possible. Tell me what them to serve your ad as extended. Okay, so this is just basically me giving me uh, how, how many impressions I want to target per day, which is quite cool, I suppose. Um, and here we go here, international targeting, so I can select my geo, which I want to select the United States for this example. And incompatible ads. Oh, it's not really giving me an option here. I'm assuming that this is going to be like a blacklist, whitelist type of thing that you would just upload. So... Available would be all placements and selected would be like a blacklist or a whitelist, I'm assuming. Uh, it's not really giving me much information here from this uh, overall 1995 uh, <laughs> uh, type back office. But let's keep moving on. So display ad users located in the following locations. So target by Metro. Okay, cool. So I can target by states. Uh, so I'm assuming if I just click on this here, it's going to give me the cities yep so and i can just select them and add yep cool so i can select that and then i don't want to do that so i just want to select none because i just want to target the whole of the us targeting options you use retargeting cancel this this is retargeting is a little bit more advanced as well so it's stay away from that and here is the bidding model so finally we've found the bidding model for this ad exchange which is cpc it's telling me here that the minimum bid is 35 cents on cpc um, which is quite high, and um, the uh, cost per thousand impressions, CPM, is one dollar, which again is quite high as well also. Um, so yeah, I would obviously just go for the bid floor and I would take the CPM option. CPM being cost per thousand impressions, which is equal distribution, which would be for more beginner. So if you are just getting into the affiliate marketing space and you are just starting with native ads, I would probably suggest starting off on a CPM bidding model. Um, especially if you don't have any any mentors, any coaching or any consulting or anything like that, I would definitely maybe recommend to go with the CPN model. It's easier to get started. If you have be, do have some internet marketing experience, then CPC would definitely be the one for you to run with. And I would just go ahead and create my ad. Yes, this is ready to go live. Not so I would make sure that's on no, so it doesn't start spending as soon as it gets past the moderation team. So all in all, um, not really too impressed with this our exchange, to be honest, um, it's not really given me uh, in-depth uh, details, uh, in-depth targeting as well. Um, so yeah, uh, just an overview of Adblade, it may be a right fit for you. 
Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, and then you want to leave any comments, maybe you are running on AdBlade, and this uh, was a you have a completely different opinion on on this network, then please go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If, it, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you get notified each and every single time that we post the video that's all related specifically to native ads. And if you do want to know more about our agency, I almost forgot what I was about to say there. If you do want to know more about our agency, I'll leave a little link in the description below. We run coaching programs, consulting programs. We also offer courses. I'll leave a little link in the description below. It doesn't matter where you are, beginner, just getting started, or maybe you're spending uh, six figures per month. We have an option for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash that like button if you did, and I will catch you in the next video.